Okay, if the pavilion wasn't flooded out by Brenda or Carly, who else could have done it? Who would have had motivation? I mean, it doesn't make any sense that the bulk would flood the place he's going to grab Brenda. Yeah. Maybe it was somebody from Brenda or Sonny or Carly's past. I don't, maybe it was that guy Murphy Sinclair that Brenda was dating. That guy can't go anywhere not as we'd see him. Well, it definitely wasn't Maxie because she was with me, and I think she's over her whole hatred for Brenda anyway. So, <laughs> where does that leave us? Somebody who's close to us against the wedding and smart enough to frame Carly. Why can't you get it in your head that I'm marrying Brenda? You fight with her in public, you cut up her <laughs> wedding dress, you flood the pavilion, what, what else are you gonna do? Okay, a couple hours uh, ago, I was taking our son to his first therapy session. You really think I would leave and go straight to the pavilion? If, if you somehow convince yourself that it was the right thing to do, hell yes. Okay, just so we're clear, if I were to stop this wedding, that would be the right thing to do. But if that's not your call. The hell it's not. If I would have stepped in the last time you married a whack job, Michael would have never been to prison. That's a cheap shot. It's truth. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Do not touch that button. No, you're not going up there. Yes, I am going to stop you. Look, between crazy Lisa and, and your, your marriage biting the dust and, and, and Robin having to raise Emma as a single mom, she like about to explode so you want to win her back be sympathetic be understanding sympathetic while she's up there sleeping with dr jackson you don't know that they could be up there playing chinese checkers yeah or, or, or maybe she's subconsciously trying to get back at me or maybe she's lonely either way i'm not gonna let that bastard take advantage oh, so, of so what are you gonna do what, what are you gonna do seriously you're gonna I go up there and just what start yelling at everybody i don't know what i'm gonna, gonna do fight with terrell yeah robin's gonna love that terrell is a player okay it takes one to know one and i'm not gonna let him play my wife okay all right all right take a deep breath you know what this is a time for you to be grateful that you have an amazing, savvy brother like moi. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means exactly this. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to tell a very, very tall tale. And it's going to get Robin out of there. You'll be in the clear. And everything's going to be fine. Hey. Hey. hey is Dante here? Uh, you went to go get groceries, but you're more than welcome to wait for me. Okay. I'd be glad to see you. Uh, do you, do you want like a soda or anything? No, I'm fine. I don't really know how to say this. Look, Dante told me that you found out what happened to me in prison. I just want you to know that I am so sorry, and well, look, I know... We don't, we don't, we don't need to talk about it. Look, I'm, I'm glad you know that Dante's been a real wreck about it. He's blaming himself. That's why he wanted to quit the force and everything. And, and um, he changed his mind, but he needs someone to talk to right now. And I'm, I'm grateful he's got you. Hey, Spinelli, it's Sam. Um, can you do me a favor? Jason and I need you to check all of the emails and phone records for all the guys on Brenda's guard detail. And start within the past 24 hours. That would be great. Okay, let me know what you find. Bye. Hey. Sam, is uh, Brenda here? No, she's out with Sunny. Will she be back soon? Yeah, I, I think so. Mind if I wait? No, not at all. Come in. Did she tell you what happened today? Nothing specific. No. Um, someone came in here and destroyed her wedding dress. What? Yeah, I know. And if that wasn't bad enough, somebody went to the wedding site and set off the sprinklers and, and it ruined the whole thing, so now we have to look for a new venue. Well, she was upset when I saw her at the hotel, but she never said... Who would do such oh, a thing? I have no idea. The police are investigating, though, so that's good. Jason guaranteed me that she'd be safe here. Now you're telling me somebody... Strolled in and nobody noticed? I know. Look, we're, we're checking the video surveillance and... But uh, where were her guards? Weren't they watching? Brenda. Hi. Told me what happened. 
Yeah, I am so, so sorry about the sabotage. And don't worry, Jason and I are going to do everything we can to make sure we find out who's responsible for this. Oh, are we pretending that we're looking for other suspects? Is that what we're doing? When it's obvious that it's Carly? I really don't want to deal with you tonight. Lovely to see you too, Carolyn. Okay, let me guess. Let me guess. Tracy kicked you out for the umpteenth time, and you want to be comped here at the Metro Court. Oh, thank you. That's very generous. And I love your new dessert menu. Can't wait to try the chocolate mousse. Okay, the last time you were here, you helped yourself to caviar, lobster, our finest whiskey, and countless massages at our spa. Oh, Shanti does wonderful things with those hands. I can't afford you, Luke. Well, I'm going to be frugal this time. Consider me your resident penny-pinching monk. Minus the religion. Mm-hmm. So, do we have a deal? You want to stay here? Defend me to Sonny. Is there discord? I'm being accused of cutting up Brenda's wedding dress and flooding her wedding site. Well, we both know you're capable of that and a lot more. True, but why would I bother? Oh, maybe because you're mad as hell that Corinthos is marrying her. I don't need to resort to petty games. I have all the ammunition I need to stop that wedding. What's up? Could Carly's out of control. You, you need to get her in line. Okay, Carly's not the one sabotaging the wedding. Okay, she's guilty of sin, and when you, uh, you know, when you buy into her denials, what you're doing is you're enabling her. Okay, Sonny, I think that she's telling the truth. Okay, you know she's trashed people's lives in the past. AJ, Tony Jones, now it's me and Brenda. Okay, I don't... All, all she cares about right now is Michael. Okay, I know she loves Michael to death, but for whatever damn reason, she doesn't want me to marry Brenda. And you know what? I'm tired of it. If, and she only listens to you. So just do me a favor. Talk to her. Will you? How, how's, uh, how's Brenda taking this? I okay? told Brenda, I said, look, let's elope. Let, keep Carly out of, the, out of the picture. But she wants to get married here with the children. And I understand that. I'm begging you. Don't let Carly break the wedding. So just leave Terrell and Robin to walk. That scares me. What are you going to say? It depends on what they're doing. Stay here. Stay put. I'll be back. All right? And you have every right to be mad at the people who got you sent to Pentonville. Why aren't you more upset with me and Dante? I was. When I first got to Pentonville, I, I, I was, but I, I realized that Dante, honestly, believed that he and you were <sighs> helping me by turning me in. He agonized over the decision. The, the, he made that choice because he thought that the judge was going to be lenient. Mm -hmm. I, Dante always tries to do the right thing. Even when he makes mistakes. Who are we talking about? Look, uh, Dante's been really torn up since you broke things off. I had my reasons. I know, I know. I'm just saying, he's, he's a good guy. I know he is. Hey. 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 Michael tells me that you're still a cop. Uh, yeah, after, uh, careful... Consideration, I uh, realize I want to be with you a lot more than I want to blow my life apart. I remember you have a thing for a guy in uniform. Had a thing. For one guy in particular. Well, maybe you can find it in your heart to give the cop in question another chance. It's too soon to tell. You want to stay for dinner? I mean, could you go that far? Depends on what's on the menu. Mexican. I can break out the sombreros. Too. No, that's... Uh, Lulu, why don't you stay? Really, I mean, it'll, it'll save you from hearing Dante go on and on about how much he loves you and misses you. Okay, fine. I'll do it as a favor for you, Michael. I owe you one. 
Jason is doing everything he can to make sure your wedding goes smoothly. And thanks for helping. Oh, you're welcome. Are you sure Carly's the culprit? Um, of course I am. She has been trying to sabotage us all along. And on February 18th, I'm going to be marrying Sonny, and nothing can stop us. I will be his wife. Well, as much as I admire your conviction and uh, deplore what's happening, I, I just keep hoping that someone or something will bring you back to your senses. Make you realize you shouldn't be marrying Sonny. Carly is not telling the truth, and she's counting on you to believe her. So you got to stop protecting yeah, her. I wouldn't protect her if I thought she did it. Okay, you're going to stand there and tell me that she hasn't pulled anything in the past? And that you, you really think she's innocent? I, I'm saying that Carly doesn't have to go around ripping dresses and setting off sprinklers. She's already looked you straight in the eye and told you what she thought. Okay. If it's not Carly, we need to find out who did this. You know, I have no doubt that you don't have to resort to childish pranks to stop a wedding. I'm sure you could fabricate something spectacular if you wanted to. I appreciate your faith, Uncle Luke. But I have to wonder, why would you even bother with somebody like Brenda? Well, marriage to her will destroy Sonny, which in turn is bad for my kids. Right. Tell me your true motive. I just did. Mm-mm. Come on, don't play the mommy card. It's so cheesy. It's so beneath you. And uh, uh, uninspired. If you're done with Sonny, let him go. Make him have his own mistakes, live his own life. But if you're not done with him, if you want him back, then stop dancing around and just take him. <laughs> 